This playthrough is rated T for teen. How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Well, you want to play a furry game, RPG, action, hack and slash? I don't know, something like that. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Baltimore back here with a new episode. Well, a new game, I guess, and a new episode in the First Impressions. New game, Biomutants, by, I guess, 101, and published by THQ Nordic. I remember seeing a trailer for this a long time ago. I think the only thing that, as far as I'm aware of, this is supposed to be like some open world-ish type of game with RPG mechanics, where you play as animals and stuff like that, so let's see what Welcome see what to Biomutant. I got the typical announcer, you know, the the probably British, you know. Let's see what we got here. Uh, English, which we can change to all the different French, Italian, Dutch, Spanish, Portugal, or Brazilian Portugal, Russian, uh, Polish, Indonesian, Japanese, I think, or I think that's Japanese. Um, Chinese. I'm not sure what this one is. That might be Arabic or something like that. And oh no, that's Arab. Is that like Israeli, maybe? Hmm. Well, I'm not a master on the languages. So uh, let's see what's what we got for speech. Not uh, not as many. Uh, French, Italian, German, Spanish, Russian, Polish, Japanese. Simplified Chinese. Hmm. Wonder what the difference is. Well, I'm not Chinese or speak Chinese, so I don't know. Uh, always show the HUD. Let's see. Um, toggle where the dialogues should auto advance without player input. Hmm. I might leave that. Yeah, it might be easier for editing, so I might leave that on. Scale. Scale the HUD. Um, I'm not sure what that does. That might be in the actual game itself. 
Uh, quest marker, damage numbers, the usage of enemy indicators. Hmm, I guess I want that on. Comic book effects. Ooh, I like the I like the look at the sound of that. Move waypoints. Maybe depending on the, how the game plays. Enable compass. Rotate with view. Okay. Camera, motion blur. We'll leave that wherever, wherever as is. Automatically adjust to player. Sure. Uh, quick menu toggle. Camera sensitivity. Uh, smoothing vibration. I already have it off, but I'll turn it off again just to make sure. Audio. Um, I think I want the master volume a little down. Same with basic music. Uh, sound effects. I think we'll do the rest of that gibberish. Modify the gibberish speech volume. Narrator. Oh, how often he speaks. Oh, okay. Yeah, quarter seems about fairly right. Speak gibberish. Subtitles, yep. Uh, narrator, or narrator. Oh, you can turn off the dial and just have it, I guess, red or... Anyway. Okay, video, brightness and sharpness. Yeah, we'll leave that. Uh, okay, standard controls. Left analog stick, jump, dodge, run. Pressing down. Cameras with the right analog stick. Sounds pretty straightforward for the most part. Ooh, parry. Hmm. Wung Fu. Well, I guess the game will probably explain that to us. Okay, consumables. Yeah, pretty. I'll probably have to play it to kind of get it down pat, but accessibility. Uh, uh, QT autocomplete. Yes, please. I hate QTEs. Uh, we'll leave that on. Uh, auto advanced dialogue. Yep. Quick menu. When the, bu when the off button... When off, the button needs to be held down to open quick menus. Or when off, the button needs to be held down. If not, you just press it and it... Press it once it holds up or... Hmm. Yeah, we'll turn that on. Uh, subtitles. Okay, I guess we're done messing with the... Alright, let's see what this game is all about. Um, probably should play on medium. Just in case, because I don't know what the game's all about, so. And ah, so we're, this is the critter that was in the intro, but we get to change how he looks like, so. Genetics, choose breed. Primal is a nimble, developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid with a gene mutation, making them nimble and dexterous at the cost of lesser developed intelligence. Uh, Dumont, uh, Dum Don, <laughs> that does look like a, doom, a Dum Don or whatever, is the least developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid uh, offshoot that compensates the lack of mental prowess of physical. That's physical? All right, well, we say so. We are playing a cutesy little creature. Uh, Rex is an extraordinary developed Anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid outcast with uh, with an even DNA string, making it apt for both physical and mental challenges. Hmm. Oh, it even says on the right, yeah, we've got, oh, we can look at the stat details. Vitality, attribute defines your amount of health and the energy cost of dodging. Okay, so this is more of an action RPG. Um, the amount of health you have, the value increases as you level up, and the higher value vitality attribute is. Your health regenerates slowly outside combat. It can be replenished with considerable items. Armor, the amount of armor you have defines how much damage you take from any attacks. Armor is defined by the gear you equipped. The strength of tribute adds to your melee damage. The higher your strength, the more damage you deal. This is pretty straightforward. The higher your melee stat is, the more damage you deal. This is increased by increasing your stat attribute. Intelligence, the intelligence, uh, tel intellect attribute defines how much key energy or chi, and I think it's chi, well, no, I guess it is key. Um, how fast your key energy regenerates as well as, uh, the amounts of damage you deal with psi powers and mutations. Intellect also defines the amount of moves you can perform when trying to complete puzzles. Puzzles? Uh, power. Your power stat... Power! Oh, oh, oh. Your power stat is used to define the amount of damage you deal with all kinds of psi power mutations. Key energy. Your key energy is used for all kinds of combat actions. All special attacks, psi powers, and mutations cost energy to use. Your key energy regenerates can be replenished with consumable items. Uh, high energy regen, or key energy, sorry. The energy of your key energy regen. The faster your key energy regenerates. Agility. The agility uh, attribute defines your overall speed. The move speed stat defines your movement speed. 
charisma. Your charisma attribute defines how easy it is to persuade other characters as well as how high, high your bar stat is. Hmm. Uh, the barter stat increases the amount of green you earn from selling items, so that's the the little guy gold worth or whatever earn the money in this game is green. <laughs> you you can't uh you can't feel the need if you don't have the green or something like that. Um as well as uh reducing the prices of items you want to purchase. Luck, your luck attribute defines how lucky you are. The higher your luck, the higher your critical chance and your loot chance. Critical chance. Critical chance defines the chance of your attacks becoming critical hits, increasing when they're damaged. And loot chance. Loot chance increases your chances of finding more items of higher quality and rarity. Okay, anyway. Uh, Gila kind of looks like a hyena. That's probably why it's called that. Gila is a regenerative developmental anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid with a gene mutation making them extremely tough and resilient. <laughs> Look at that doggo there. The FIP breed is renowned for, or, yeah, I guess it's FIP, for a highly evolved mind. Its genius is directly interlinked to the power of key, which amplifies their psychic output. God, it looks like a dork. Uh, Murgle. Murgle? Uh, Murgle is a definition of an idolized breed. Its evolutionary image has gone in a direction where form and appearance has dominated over function. <laughs> um, okay, how do I want to... Let's see. I'm just looking at, like... Usually if you want to play, like, a, if you're playing hard, you usually want, like, high vitality and stuff like that. Um, so this breed... Yeah... Um, hmm. I'm kind of thinking the Murgle. Yeah, now of course it does get low, low intelligence um, build. It looks like looks like it's basically a charisma character because it says uh, over function. So. Um, I was thinking. Yeah, I think I might play the the Murgle. Yeah, let's uh let's do the Murgle. Attributes. Define your character uh character starting attributes. To see more detailed explanations. Uh yeah, we were. Define that, so. your genetic structure. Oh, and this shows like oh, so if you're beefy Huh. That's a that's kinda interesting actually. Oh, and it says what your genetic code is when you move it. It has, like, that number down at the, the bottom there, like, what you are. Huh. That's neat. And the face changes, too, depending on, uh, like, how you're built. Oh, you get, if you're agility, you're, like, scrawnier, but your legs are probably make more leaps or something like that. If you're stronger, you get swole. Vitality, you get, uh, you know, a bit chunky. That's charismatic. Huh. Well, in the animal kingdom, I mean, charisma is different. Usually charisma in the animal kingdom is usually bright colors and stuff like that. So, I'm not sure. And then, <laughs> intelligence, your brain gets huge! And then, obviously, huh, I might go with a big brain. I don't know. Uh, the only problem with doing that is, obviously, you know, depending on the difficulty, you don't want your... That's how we started out at, huh? around the center there. I almost want to go kind of, uh, maybe kind of go in the middle of the road right here. Because being too charismatic looks kind of silly. I mean, it shouldn't be based off looks, though, but uh, just like real life. Yeah, that looks good. I'll, I'll stick with that. So I'm genetic code bog to talk to her. Touch her, 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 Oh, and we're resilient to certain, like... Does that change what we look like? Oh, yeah, it changes our, our little arm there to different colors, depending on, like, what our resistances are. So, I guess I guess these are... Can we check the what these are? No. Um, well, obviously, heat is fire. Biohazard is probably acid or poison. Cold as ice, and... It's cold as ice! And radioactivity, huh? Um, well, I'm not sure what we're going to be going up against, so... Uh, I don't know, most things in most games tend to have, like, fire attacks, but in this game, I assume they're probably going to be evened out, so. So you can, like, get one really high, but you lose, like, bonuses to everything else. So if you want to, like, test your test your might. Uh, looks like there's a fourth one there in the corner, but I'm not sure what that is. I guess we can't affect that one, so. Um, 
Yeah, usually having a good middle of the ground is probably the best way to go, so we'll just... Yeah, we'll stick with middle of the road. Choose your first style. <laughs> first style? Yeah! Oh, just how we look. Huh. Too bad we can't, uh, like, zoom in a little bit just to get a... That was kind of cool. Let's see, what's this one? I might go, I might go with the, the lines over the eyes. That one's kind of... That one looks like it's got, like, scars and stuff like that. That, is, eh, that one's kind of cool. Now yeah, let's go with the... Where's the... Oh. Yeah, let's go with the, just the lightning bolt. That was Pick cool. your main color. Wait, what the... Actually, Choose sorry. your first oh, wait, style. Okay. I Pick thought I saw some color. other feature, so... Now uh, we can dull it or brighten it. Uh, I like blue myself. Where I can actually see the blue. If you turn it too dark, then it basically becomes black at that point. Um... Uh, So, yeah, it's more of a per uh, there we go. Yeah, that'll work. Choose your detail color. I forgot what works with blue. I mean I could always just make myself blue blue. <laughs> blue blue, toilet bowl blue. I could almost look like Pikachu if I wanted to build him like that. He almost kinda looks like that. Pikachu! I might go with white. White and blue might work work better. Or we could get, make ourselves as black as night. Yar. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, it might be two. Although, na nature-wise, I'd be kind of out of place because I'd only work well in, like, the winter areas. Yeah, we'll go with that. Pick a class. Did I? Did I? Duncan! I knew my Star Wars playthrough would come in again one of these days. The Dead Eye is a tricky, skillful rogue who's chosen a life outside of law and social society values. Does that affect your stats at all? It does slightly, yeah. If you choose Dead Eye, his uh, critical chance goes up a bit, so you probably focus more on guns than anything. Commando. Commando. <laughs> ah, I wonder what that's a reference to. Yeah. Uh, Rambo, before when he started becoming silly and goofy. Man, you should watch First Blood and then watch the the sequel, like, or was it First Blood 2 or whatever, to, to Rambo. Those are completely different movies, especially with what they were going with. So, anyway, the commando is trained as an operative of an elite special operations force. Commandos are used to work working in smaller teams. Sci freak. That kind of reminds me of, um, the, the just the look and everything. Kind of reminds me of Cole from uh, Infamous. I don't know why. Anyway. Oh, it even Commander, says, like, what your ability Deadeye. is. Uh, see, Deadeye gets perfect reload. Your, re your ranged weapons are reloaded instantly, and your next magazine grant 20% damage. Commando. Uh, Fury, ranged weapon attacks inflict 10% more damage to the target. That's not bad. Scythe. Scythe Freak. Uh, if you get Mega Mind, your key energy regen is increased by 20%. To shoot a spark ball, press down the input you have bound the ability to. It'll make you throw the ball in a direction you're facing, inflicting damage to the enemy you hit. Um... Uh, you get less armor, I guess, because uh, of that. Saboteur. Saboteur. What are you, we Wrath from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Maybe. Uh, twin Silver Grip. Mele uh, melee dual weapon skills. Equip two different one-handed melee weapons to dual wield them. Hypergenetic. Your dodge energy costs are reduced by 20%, so if you want to go more melee. Sentinel. Sentinel kind of reminds me of, like, some Eastern European, like, a soldier from like Romania or, or something like that. I'm sure I'm not sure the country or country a place that made this. It may be European for all I know, because the design kind of screams that. Oh, I haven't Sab even read the descriptions Sabata. for Saboteur either. Uh, uh, see, Cyphreaks. Cyphreakers are sci yeah. Cyphreaks are exper experimenting with are experimenting with psychic power and mutations. They are usually outcasts on the fringe of society. Saboteur. saboteur. The saboteur is a cunning, skilled explorer trained to operate covertly in both su suburbs and wilderness. Was it saboteur from that one, uh, what was it, that one Xbox game, that open world, was it a 360 game? 
Yeah, anyway. Sentinel. Uh, Sentinel. Sentinels, uh, Sentinels dedicate themselves to protect the house. Their dedication is for the organization as a whole, including supreme belief in their dogma. Huh. They're like knights or something like that. Yeah, toughness. Your base armor is increase by 10. Saboteur. Cypheric. Uh, oh, I kind of like the look of the Cypheriker. Commander. Or dead the Deadeye. Deadeye Duncan. I don't know, something with that gun, with that goofy grin. It's like, oh, I'm going to get you. Commando. Yeah, it's goofier with that, with that. I mean, he's still got the overbite, but, uh... Cypheric. Uh, God, that's a tough one. I, I like, I, got, I like gun-wielding characters. Commando. But Sabotech. I also like kind of the wizard characters, too, Sentinel. when I play. Yeah, let's go with Cypheric. Cypheric chosen. Okay, I guess we've got it. Um... Uh, Maybe I could have put more into uh, vitality, and sh uh, vitality, but uh, yeah, I think we'll 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 survive for at least for a little bit. Well, if we're not, you know, uh, the evolution or whatever will uh, or Darwin social Darwinism will take care. Well, not social, but Darwinism will take care of us. That'll work. That'll do, pig. Okay, now she's telling us how to play. Here's somebody with a troubled past. Drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. Looks like you still get guns and stuff like that. It's just money, huh? <laughs> okay. But uh, looks like you still get guns and melee, maybe a melee weapon, but you'd probably focus more. We're already more on. at the crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. Now oh, I could turn back. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. So open palm or closed fist almost? Well, not quite, but I might need to turn down the brightness. I turned it down because my TV seems to be have an issue with that. Although I need to adjust it more. So it might be brighter than what it's actually supposed to be, folks. So yeah, I'm dark like my soul. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of the balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Uh, so, we basically get it. Uh, so, depending on what side we choose, we get... I guess we don't get quite an angel and demon situation here, because we could choose one or the other. Uh, let's see what the light side has to say. So glad you realize who you really are. Let's keep to the bright and better path moving on. You can't contradict yourself like that. You made the right choice to begin with. Why would you change your mind? Because you can't deny what's deep within your heart. Sometimes a thought is just a thought. In the end, it's the way you act that counts. I thought the, I thought this thing was supposed to autoplay, but it's not doing that for some reason. But remember, this is just the beginning of the end. Eventually, it'll be my way or the highway. Huh. Interesting. Does it matter, like, what crossroads we go out, or... Is there, like, a map or anything like that? No. Let me, uh... Where's the... Video? Let me choose, turn down the brightness. Well, the thing is, it says where you can barely visible. I can barely see that as is, but all right. Anyway, all right. Guess anyway, left go. can be right sometimes. Does it really matter? Right is always right. Okay. Well, when in doubt, I always go left myself. So, all right. Looks like I thought this was supposed to be open world, but maybe it opens up later. Maybe I, or maybe I'm misremembering some of that. I don't really do like a ton of research in this to try and keep myself kind of not influenced while Stories I play. Stories of death and the bodies left behind, a reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Meat eaters, meat, huh? Are we a meat eater? Or? Our design kind of indicates we're, veg uh, we're vegetarians, but... Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. 
Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Uh-oh. It looks like it's the act. Ah, looks like it's that uh, monkey thing from a... Is that supposed to be a monkey? Oh, he's a meat eater. So we are supposed to be, like, vegetarians. Uh, feather flight. Oh, okay. I'm not doing so good at the start. I just had to... Monkey wheel? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, this is too... Oh, this is why we're not getting hurt too badly, because... Oh. <laughs> oh, is it... Okay. Panther sweep. Oh, okay, that's not melee. Oh, since we chose Psyker, we use our psychic abilities to attack and not a and not a weapon. Okay. Oops. Hopefully it heals us up a well. Okay. We just have to kind of do it in general. Hmm, interesting. Rabbit but Rabbit's Fury! Rabbits have fury. Oh, we're basically replaying the inch of that anime cutscene at the very beginning, basically. You better make a run for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. Okay, so we can't fight this guy, right? We were... Well, I thought I could just dodge past it, but I guess it doesn't have Dark Souls dodge animations or whatever, so... Did he just throw a mine at us, like a like a depth or a depth charge or something like that? Not depth charge, because depth charges are used to destroy mines. You know, like one of those old school mines in the ocean back in like World War Two stuff like that. No, oh, that's the beginning of our story, huh? Oh, it's loading. Okay, I was like, I was waiting for like a cutscene to occur, but no. Nah. Yeah, the problem with this game is that it has a decent amount of load times, and you could tell that the texture is a bit off. I wonder if it looks better in like the PC version or if you get like the. If it this came out on like PS5 or Xbox One, uh, ver different version. I've got I'm playing the PS4 version. This you can time, tell they do. It something. was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. But yeah, it kind of looks like yeah. You can kind of tell the textures are a little bit off. But yeah, I assume yeah. The, okay, it's a it is a mine. Where did the creature get something like that? I'll never understand. Oh yeah, gotta close the door. Be appropriate. Or we just gotta wait for the t explosion to go off. There we go. I was waiting for it to explode, so. Oh, we got a. Oh, we even got a little shoulder light. <laughs> hmm. I heard like a little. like robot thingy or something like that. Beep. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. So is this kind of like a... Is this like an Earth situation, or is this just like some random planet that's like suffered some end times, like nuclear apocalypse or something like that? Move towards an enemy target and hit them with melee. Okay. Uh, the camera towards the enemy to start uh, attack them with ranged. Reload your weapon. Oh, you have to reload. Great. Press R1. To use the ability, press the button and it is bound to. Uh, while pressing the L2 button. Uh, to throw a sparking ball of key energy. Obviously that's unique for me. Oh, well maybe, I don't know, maybe key, everyone can use it, but it might not be as strong as other characters. Uh, uh, hold the mutation select and press the bound button. L2. Key energy. Key energy is used for dodging, using mutations, and performing special attacks. When you have key energy, you'll be unable to perform these actions. Your key energy, key energy regenerates both in and out of combat. So, okay. Can I like hold it down? Yeah, because of my ability. Man, I don't do a ton of damage. Well, maybe if I. You've already drained yourself. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was. Oops. Hmm. Well, it seems. It doesn't seem too, too uh, um, unintuitive. It seems a bit weird in spots. I guess maybe it's just me trying to get used to the controls and whatnot. 
Yeah, if I press circle, it drains a little bit of my key, so. Just down the hall. Well, at least we get a tutorial to kind of figure out how our abilities work and everything like that. I assume they don't drop a, a loot or something like that. Well, at least not right now, anyway, so. Now, does this game have, like, uh, exploration areas or collectibles or something like that? No, nothing here, so. All right, well, let's keep going. I assume the story is basically the same, except for maybe some minor adjustments b based off your class or uh, um, if you're light or dark or something like that. But so it's all about your play style at this point, really. Oh, ammo box. Oh, good, we got randomized uh, 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 equipment to an extent, anyway. Uh, weapon add-on. You found a weapon special effect add-on. Attach it to your ranged weapon to give it an extra damage type as long as the ammo lasts. Some of enemies have, resi have a resistance or weakness to different weapon special effects. So use it wisely. I guess we'll just equip it now. Uh, to attach special add-on effect uh, through the consumable quick menu, or select it through the quick consumable quick menu to open, uh, to open the menu, press the top. Here. No, it's well, it's not letting me do it, so I guess I automatically did it. So, oh, okay. We, oh no, that's the type of weapons we use. Pew pew, bo box spark, spraka. Hmm. What is the people who made this? Uh, German or something like that? Doing stark and nice the dragon. I don't even know. I'm just saying gibberish. Uh, medic supplies. You found a medical medic supply. B bags like this contain items that can help heal you. Your health doesn't automatically regenerate in combat. You have to use consumables or find other ways to heal. Oh, that's where the challenge is, huh? Okay. Is that just some gauze? How does that heal us? Uh, heal regen 50, duration 5. Okay. Uh, quick select. Okay, now it pop that pops up on the quick select anyway. Uh, press uh, the indicated button. Okay. Oh, well. Hidey hole. <laughs> I gotta go to the toilet. Uh, excuse me, folks. Oh, or we can find a log. It's log. It's log. It's better than bad. It's good. It's log. It's log. <laughs> uh, I forgot the whole words, but we find a log on the toilet. I don't know if the irony is lost in this, but uh, looks like I can't use it. I don't have enough strength. So, uh, uh, energy regeneration. Okay. So we know, kind of reminds me of South Park, although in South Park he found actual turds in the, the toilet. So they weren't being as subtle. Okay, I guess uh, I guess there's a reason to explore for like items and stuff like that. So, hmm. All right, let's keep going. Sludge the oil soaker. sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death. But some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Huh. Parrying. Remember to parry enemy attacks. When the enemies attack, you'll see a lightning bolt flash upon their heads. Uh, press L1. Okay. When you see it, anyway. Ah! Oh, yeah. I think I remember I can charge this thing up, too. Wait. Oh, do I lose it when I get smacked? Okay. Ah. Oh, I didn't press. I just pressed the dodge. But, which I guess dodging also works too. Maybe I should have made a melee character. They seem to be seem to do more damage. Unless it's based off the. Uh... Ah. Well, okay, that didn't work. I thought I pressed the parry button, but. Uh... Ow. And I am a. Uh, I guess you can't. Uh, I guess you can't really do that when you're. Oops. Uh, there we go. Take the take my kinetic energy. Looting. Oh, this does have loot. Uh, fallen enemies can often be looted for healing items. Find a highlighted press and press a triangle. Remember to use your heal items when you're wounded. Press the directional pad. 
Yeah, more. Okay, gets me energy. Uh, looks like a. Um, it looks like a, a sushi roll or something like that. Probably. Who knows? Uh, okay. Yeah, combat seems a, a bit. I don't know. I mean, the controls seem to be pretty fluid. I don't know. Just could, like combat and trying to uh, pay attention to uh, Clink. Kind of Clink. Anyway, uh, we also got a. Who is that? Ski oh, those are just oh, medicine. All right. I assume all this is from whatever society was here before. Oh, this is poison. Does it hurt us when we step in it? Oh wow, you. I'm all gooified when you step in that. I assume it slows you down as well, if anything. But my HP isn't going down. But I don't see any reason to uh, go in the sledge, so it's best not to uh, exacerbate ourselves any further. Defeat the Rockaboom. Okay. Ah! Keeps throwing freaking uh, beams of air. I think I can shoot them. Like, um, whoops. Yeah, I gotta get used to parrying. I mean, I've been dodging fine, but. You no. Know, I, I, I guess you can, can't parry those, so. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the. About the game. Ah! Did he just pile drive me? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the gameplay mechanics or not. I don't know. Ah! I guess you, yeah, I guess you can't dodge while you're, uh... Oh, right, I'm out of... Oh, yeah, and I can't press the dodge button because I don't have any... Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I was trying to, like, test some stuff out, so... Yeah, I think it's just because of the camera moving around and that you have to tickling toffee, huh? I'm not a fan of toffee. Nah, it's fine. Uh, okay, well. Use the tickling toffee. Wow, apparently tickling toffee is what I is is the good stuff, apparently. Healed me completely, or is that just with everything? I guess they assumed you were gonna take a lot of damage from that fight, so because of the throwing barrels. I can usually do a lot better in like action platformers and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, just kind of use keys to open doors. Alright. I hope the whole game isn't us just going into isolated rooms like this. Well, we'll keep playing until we exit the quote-unquote tutorial level. I mean, I mean, the camera moves smoothly, so it's not that when it comes to combat. It's just trying to focus on the enemies. But luckily, they don't... I mean, I... Well, maybe in hard mode, but at that point, you'd be... We have to fight a wall? What is this, Final Fantasy IV? Shielder. Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break the shields with melee attacks before you can deal damage. Uh-oh. So what if I chose a pure not combat build, or not melee build? Well, I bet apparently it sucks for me. I know it's a tutorial, so we can learn to... to uh, oh. Okay. I should better take out the... Uh, Because it looks like you can target the barrels. Every time he does that, I, I forget to uh, dodge out of the way. Ugh. <laughs> oh man. Man, I am not doing very good. I have to be careful about uh, uh, using all my. Uh... Oh, I'm out of ammo. Take that, nature! Man, I love this tutorial so I can start getting used to the mechanics and everything like that. I'm surprised the game let me, uh, let me mess with that for, for a while without attacking me in the back. Oh wow, he lit him up. Ah, ouch. Well, that's kind of cool. Where you can like slide under during the combat. 
Leveling up. Uh, defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP. Leveling up allows you to raise one of your attributes by 10. You'll get one point. Uh, you also get one point that you can use to unlock skills in the Wang, Wang Fu and Perks menu. Go to press the options button. So we leveled up. Level up! More tongue tickly? Or tongue tickles? Or whatever? Okay, so let's see what we can level up. Uh. Okay. Oh, now we can actually do. Before it wouldn't let me go to the like save system and stuff like that. Do we actually have gear? Uh, gear. And this lets you equip, change your gear, equipment gear. The circle icon represents the part of the body that can be geared up with equipment found or bought from vendors. Your favorites can be saved in the outfits menu. So right now we got, now we got quite a few options. I mean, obviously right now we probably don't have anything, but uh, inventory sorting. You can sort your gear by pressing down the L3 button. You can also scrap the highlight piece of gear by pressing triangle. Okay. We'll probably need that for like money. So our weapons are sword gloves. Sorry about that. Uh, but we don't have twin silver grip. So we can't dual wield spark. Uh, we've got experimental pants. Experiment 101 pants. Is that what we're called? 101? Uh, uh, torso. Gear suited for the torso. Usually have the largest number of slots to craft uh, add-on parts onto. And generally also provides the biggest boost to your stats. We've got the experiment 101 jacket. What about 626? Hmm? Oh, wait. That's a different show. Uh, gear tailored for the legs generally has crafting slot on top of each thigh. Note that some add-on parts can only be crafted to specific body parts like the leg. Okay. Uh, you can equip both a melee and ranged weapon set at the same time. Your favorites can be assigned to the quick select menu. So weapons have an attribute or level requirement. Uh, okay, that's the same there. Sold shoulder. All shoulder gear has slots you can craft add-on parts. Onto a gear crafting benches. You can craft and equip different gear on each shoulder. It's the same for that one. The back. Gear suit for the back can't be crafted, but will boost stats, generally by resistance towards the hazardous areas of the world and increasing your loot chance. And the. And I'll form the head. Headgear comes in all shapes and forms, but they'll all give your stats boost and have some. Some have slots you can craft onto parts uh, onto a gear crafting bench. And the face. Face! Face gear is a complement to the headgear, but unlike headgear, it can't be crafted. It'll also boost your stats, generally by resistance towards the hazardous areas of the world. Uh, okay, then we can just... Okay, anyway, let's level ourselves up. Increasing attributes. When you level up, you can increase an attribute of your choice by 10. Pick which attribute you want to increase by the list. I almost want to do a, a vitality, just because I'm getting smacked quite a bit. Or at least until I learn, uh, learn dodge better or something like that. Uh... I mean, melee seems to be a given because uh, you can always melee, but, you know, ammo and stuff like that uh, can always possibly wear out. So strength would... I mean, all stats are obviously... If I go to agility, I can move faster. It'd almost be better to... I could always keep boosting my crit chance. Because I assume anything can crit, whether it be your... But if I was going to do crit, I should have made a uh, the Deadeye character because they're better at crits, right? I think that's what the thing was, so... Might be better just to go intelligence. Just to keep our power and regen up so we can keep blasting people with that. Yeah, it's better just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was kind of silly, especially with my character model. Uh, upgrade points. You'll earn upgrade points to leveling up. These can be used to acquire new special attacks and perks. Time to unlock your first special attack. Ranged or melee. Select close combat or melee co uh, ranged. Uh, these are wait, Wung Fu. These are the two pillars of Wung Fu. The core martial arts you start with and the weapon mastery techniques that you unlock with uh, upgrade points gained from leveling up. Let's see what uh, uh, range combat gets us. Oh, we can do... We can improve our guns so we can just go all ranged. Uh, you, can, you can use any type of ranged weapon, but you need to learn to unlock special attacks for a weapon in order to be able to use it to activate the super Wung Fu state. So you can... Guns, you can do wields. You can rifles, automatic... Ooh, automatic... I like... Ooh, shotguns. Hmm. Uh, let's see what close combat. Uh, right now it'd be unarmed. I think it's since I've got range with the with the uh, psi attacks, I probably should improve my unar uh, unarmed. But I do like the idea of getting more guns. Hmm. Yeah, let's do close combat. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we can. Okay, so right now we've got these abilities like Phantom Paw, Phoenix Sweep, Knuckle Wrap. Or warp, sorry. 
Azure paw, and then we can uh, get the so we can start doing combinations. So square square, uh, finish on our melee chain with a launching grab and pile driver. Ooh. Fill up the super wang fu, and then you need two for that. So what is the range combo? I guess if I chose that um, input sequence, you just press. Oh yeah, the flip, flip phoenix is where you <laughs> where you do basically a uh, slow mo shoot. Um, sliding snake, that's where you. Hmm. But it almost seems like you need. Well, I guess you need dodge for anything. Crane dance. Uh, finish your melee chain by fan firing your gun. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, we'll fill up your so square. So you have to attack, and then when you finish your attack, you have to. Circle square R two. Right. Okay. Actually, let's do that. I like I like the idea of that. You can now perform your special attack when you have the correct weapon type equipped. Once you've unlocked more attacks, you'll be able to combine them to reach the Super Wang Fu state. Yeah, they're trying to co uh, combine like, oh, now we can, now we put it into guns. Now we can go into dual wield guns, but I don't have dual wield, so. Oh, we also have basic melee, but that... Oh, this is just to show you what you can actually do. We got maneuvers, super one foo, and then the different unarmed, one arm slash, dual wield, crush. I assume crush is like where you just get like a big big old weapon and just smash someone with it. Wong foo and perks. Once you have more upgrade points, remember to spend them on perks and special attacks on the Wong foo perk menu. So you have foo, perks. Oh yeah, we can... I think the game forces you to buy a Wong Fu, but next time you can do perks too. So, oh, I didn't know there was a map section. Huh. Let's see what the map shows. Oh, so it is open world. We just, uh, we're just an area where we, uh, we're kind of stuck where we are right now. Wow. Okay. Cool. I guess we just trying to trying to leave this facility that we got ourselves. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't read that. Was I just had a habit of just one pressing the button to get going? So. Okay. Well, I think we'll. I think when we actually exit this place, I think we'll call it, call it a impressions video after that. But until then, look, an emergency box from the once was a rare sight. I think this might be like a former, like it used to be Earth or some of that, but uh, a crowbar. Uh, uh, Gordon Freeman called. He wants his weapon okay. back. Oh, you look uh, a, 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 a dangerous, like a Italian gangster. Old World Claw Bar. The pump, I uh, examined the door. Oh, so we need to, uh... Huh. Wait, I'm sorry. I guess we need that to open the door. So... Okay. I guess we can exit the room further down. Down, down to Goblin Town. Down, down to Goblin Town. That pipe looks weak. The Claw Bar should come in handy. That bar looks weak. Beat the crap out of it. Oh, okay. That's not how crowbars work. Whatever. Whoa. Hmm. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Are you sure we're going to find a pl play, uh, way out of this place? I don't know. I don't believe you, dude. Now we can double jump. And of course, I still get the sledge. Great. Ew. So we can break the laws of of reality by double jumping. <laughs> uh, radiation. The morphs produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Just this here was my kinetic. He was trying to hit me earlier, and for some reason his kinetic ability wasn't working. So that's kind of neat. I tried doing that one ability. I think it was circle square R two. Uh, special attacks. You're on your way to perform a special attack. Oh, you have to have the special bar. Okay. Uh, on your way to perform a special attack, possible special attacks are prompted in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Press the indicated while shown will trigger your special attack. Okay. Oh. Oh, did I press the. I think I pressed R2 instead of L2. Oh well. 
Yeah, I gotta be careful about using my key just because I won't have I won't have any dodging ability if I use it all. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I keep forgetting to re refill my ammo. There we go. Eh, I'm getting used to it, I guess. Bio blobs. You resort to bio. Oh, bio obs. <laughs> oh no, they're blobs. No. Bio blobs. That, ah, never mind. Okay. These are points used to unlock mutations. You collect bio blobs by defeating morks and other container. Er, finding containers at various places in the world. You can use your bio blobs to unlock special powers at any time by accessing the mutations part of the menu. Bio point. I guess all we have to do is climb our way out of here, so... Eh, who knew that getting chased down by that monkey creature thingy would uh, render us a tutorial level? Who knew? I wonder how much uh, like you can actually explore for the point of like collecting stuff. Like, there's something over there. I wonder if I can actually get to that. Kind of looks like I can. Can we actually do climb on walls and stuff like that too at some point? Or oh, nope. I took a look. Let's try that again. It looks like you just auto climb the uh, thing, so that's good. Okay, let's try that again. So, oh, <laughs> come on, man! Don't make a fool Looks out of like me. Looks like you've got this. What is that? Oh, there was that one spot there. I wonder if you can jump over there too, because I know we're supposed to open the door, but and I know I can't double jump to that other thing on the other side. There's no way I can make that. Oh, we can! Oh, we can! Like some grip the wall, sort of. I saw me, or I saw the character kind of like hold it for a second, so. Are we gonna use a crowbar? What? What are you doing? What the heck? <laughs> oh, we get a cat hat. Great. Uh, over here. Okay. Oh, let's quit. Oh, even. <laughs> Is this game trying to be serious or cute cutesy? I'm not sure. Uh, what was the name of the hat from a uh, Firefly or the guy who wore that hat? Oh, and, and of course the texture doesn't work with our eye patch. Look at that. Come on, guys. All right. Anyway, whatever. It's not that big a deal. Ah. I wonder if we can actually get... Oh, we can actually get up there somehow. Because hmm. there's something to collect over there. Let me see if I can jump from maybe a different uh, point. will be easier. No. Hmm. I want to see if I can get that whatever's in. If I'm supposed to. Uh-oh. The game froze for a second. I was like, uh-oh. I wouldn't be surprised. I've had my PS4 on for quite a while. Working on other projects and... Uh, uh, you can, looks like you can kind of grab it. Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. Because I, I just basically jumped. <laughs> we got some pants! With a little nub for our tail. Sure. Oh, uh, so, we, yeah, a, a little, wow. But yeah, what I did is, like, instead of jumping, I kind of jumped on the side, yes, to get that, like, weird, like, little, gave me a little, little bit more oomph. So... Man, I'm too sexy for my pants. Too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shorts. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of this game, really. Yeah, it's like trying to be cutesy and dark at the same time, and I'm not sure if that works as a... Well, anyway. Maybe if we get further in the game, we'll... Oh, hello. The info sign. So explaining what happened to before in the long, long ago. Toxanol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. I see. Interesting. Yeah. One piece of the beginning puzzle, I guess. Oh. Then we gotta start the ray lighter. Are they doing that where they give cutesy names to like stuff that we know what it is, but... Uh, puzzles. You found a puzzle. These are scattered around the world. Some open new paths while others feature different rewards. Switch which node to use with the uh, left 
analog. Rotate the node by pressing R, L1 and R1. This is the number of rotations you have left. The higher your intellect, the more moves you have. Each node has a certain position. It must be rotated into to complete the puzzle. Running out of moves before they may have consequences. Um, okay, so... Kind of looks... Because I assume I'm supposed to uh, switch those all to the colors, right? I mean, I'm almost something wrong here. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Oh. Um. Uh, is that not it? I thought you're. So oh, are you supposed to? I thought you're supposed to tied to the colors to the colors, but that might not be it. Can I reset it? No. Well, I mean... Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I thought, like, I thought it... Oh. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Yeah, see, I, I turned that in the wrong direction. Crap. Oh, too late now. Ah! Can we do it again? Oh, we can. We just got blasted on her. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what I was thinking. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinor Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Yeah, typical, like, people dumping stuff in the river, not thinking about the consequences. I mean, that's pretty much apropos to, to what's going on today, so. anti pollute message, you know, kind of like in Fern Gully, but, uh, it's real, folks. It's real. Don't let people say otherwise. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. I assume a boss time? A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Well, it'll brain melt my brain because I couldn't solve a simple colors puzzle. Because I, for some reason, I was like mixing the colors in my head. Like I had to like, I'm not, and I'm not colorblind either. So, you yeah. know, at least I don't think I am. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. So I wonder... Could you even do this, like, in so little turns? Hmm. I don't know. There you go. So I guess if you had really low intelligence, I assume you'd have to do everything, like... It'd only give you so, uh, just enough turns. you probably have to... If you mess up, you'll take the damage or whatever. Get your butt shocked. What the? Is that a monkey in a wheelchair or something like that? Airstrike. Perfectly countering an enemy's attack will stun them. A stunned enemy has stars circling above their heads. And after hitting the enemy again, you can launch up in the air by pressing the L1 button. Okay. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Oh, that's a sloth. Okay. At least it looks like a sloth anyway. I was trying to get that... That, uh, star thing up here. There we go. Oh, I dang it! I, I didn't. Rit. I showed it off, and then, or I I got to it, and then I didn't get to. Okay, there we go. Ha ha! Oh, and then you can do like some cool things. Once, you know. 
So basically it's just a sloth with like a shotgun or something like that. Neat. Really I just had to, it looks like, I'm trying, I'm thinking that this game is supposed to be some like super action packed thing, but sometimes the enemy is actually kind of slow at times. Probably to, uh, maybe at a, at higher levels they go faster. Uh, whoops. Ow. We're almost done anyway. I think it's because I'm thinking this is supposed to be more frantic than it actually is, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Because so, I, ha I have, like when something says action, I'm almost thinking Devil May Cry or something like that when that's not the case. Ah, you shot me in the face, dude, even though you didn't actually do damage to me, but... Oh, I tried to do the parry, but... No that's way. the last of them. Let's talk to the wheel one before backup arrives. His outfit makes him look like he's something from, like, Brit the British Royal Army or something like that. Uh, take my toffee. A dandy candy. Candy is dandy, but quicker is liquor. Or, quicker... Liquor is quicker. <laughs> Oh, we could just leave. Oh, more, uh, clinks. And do we have to talk to the guy, though? Can we just, like, leave? I was hoping to uh, leave this place before the end of the episode, but, uh, well, we'll play a little bit longer just to see. Oh, it won't let me, won't let me climb out of here. Nope, it's like, no, you gotta, gotta talk to the wheeled one. Yeah, keep everyone out. A new friend, an old friend. Have we met before? Well, I mean, we're all... I please... Well, let's see. I think you're supposed to be... You kind of look like a sloth, but I don't know. Oh, he's even got... That's why he's a real one. He's got a peg leg. Yeah, I think you are supposed to be a sloth, but... It, well, I could be wrong. Maybe... Actually, you might be... Well, anyway. Well, I mean, obviously you're not an actual sloth because we're mutated creatures at this point, but... He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back. But he's grateful you have. The what? It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Moomer's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Mau -mau -ya. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I wasn't sure what, it was going to be more cutscenes or anything like that. So I like the fact, I, I think it is kind of funny that w because we they're different from us, they all speak in gibberish. We don't know what we're talking about. So the narrator needs to tell us what they're saying, you know. Um, but anyway, dialogue settings. By default, dialogues are set to advance from one NPC line to the next automatically. If you want to manually advance the dialogue, you, oh, I already did that. Oh. Ah, we both had both our eyes. So this is basically we're telling the story of like how we got to this point with our cute little cat ear thing and our pants or whatever. So 
Well, I was going to keep playing, but I think we got a, a pretty good deal amount of like how the game is played, the action, the com oh, we can't leave our own memories, how the action combat works, the the general story so far. Obviously, it's going to open up to more. It definitely it has a mixture of obviously e Eastern cultures, but it looks like it kind of is an amalgamation of things, like not just Eastern cultures, but other cultures. I wonder if that's the point because the world is almost like an Earth-like place that had been, you know, mutated and old, uh, like old group died whether it be humans or whatnot so they took whatever information they had from that age is a bunch of stuff so they probably had information from other cultures and just like smashed it all together but i could be wrong in that so but yeah i think we'll leave it there folks so uh hope you enjoyed the playthrough i know i wasn't as informative more just kind of let the game kind of play along but uh i hope this game get, uh, playthrough gave you an idea or this like episode or video gave you an idea if you want to play the game for yourself or buy it or if you didn't like it you know keep you away from from uh from the game and save yourself some money but in, in any case uh maybe i'll do a let's end this we'll see how more interesting the game goes if not we'll uh, call it there so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next game